begins to meet up every 15 minutes on New Jersey. We got some talk radio going on out here. Keep the critters out, maybe. It did rain yesterday, last night. On Point Pleasant Beach. Think you've got talent? Well, show it. But the winner receives more than 10... Trying to hold out on picking these till tomorrow. So we can take them to the flea market. They're looking pretty good. As long as we can keep the, the deer out of them. It's kind of hard to keep the birds out of them, but... They don't seem to be doing too much damage to them. Might have to pick some of these tonight. Truthfully. They're pretty much ready. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> but we'll see if we can get the timing right. Try to get it. If I pick them tonight, they'd probably still be good by Thursday morning, but try to hold out till tomorrow. We'll see what happens. A little bit of a thunderstorm last night. Remnants of uh, whatever that tropical storm that hit the Gulf Coast this weekend really messed things up out there. I know that. Snapberries over here. I don't know exactly what these variety this variety is. We call them snapberries, just because when you pull them off, they they kind of snap but they definitely got a lot of green ones but these ones come in a lot later some of these bushes are really loaded they're on there as long as we can keep the animals out of them that's the hardest part keeping the deer and the biggest thing is the squirrels you wouldn't think it but those little suckers man They'll get in the bush and they'll just start shaking the whole bush. Knock them all to the ground. And then they lay on the ground and eat them and you don't even see them. But we caught a couple of them this year. And they got evicted. See the deer tracks? They're in here eating the dukes. I need a couple more radios, I guess. Scatter around. Seems to help a little bit. Now there's New Jersey blueberries, but there's also a variety called Jersey. These are Jerseys. Pretty much this. Pretty much this whole patch right here is jerseys. And usually they come in a lot later. I don't even know if I got out here to prune these this year. It doesn't look like it. I pruned a lot of the other ones. But they're on there. So hopefully we'll get these this year. Usually the deer get them because the bushes are so small. They're like really at their head level. So it kind of sucks for that but between them and the squirrels we usually don't get too many out of here but I've been trying to chase them as much as possible so I still see some deer prints out here probably should get out here and rotor till this again the grass is starting to come up pretty crazy Got a couple duke bushes over here that got missed. Had to pick them today, probably. And birds got to a little bit of them. The little birds are fine, you know, like they'll land in the bush and yeah, they'll peck a berry, but they, they don't have enough weight to shake it, you know. You get them big birds like the crows and 
<laughs> crow will snap a whole branch off. And then we got these things called, I call them cat birds. I don't know exactly what their name is, but they're relative. They're, they're about medium sized. And they'll knock a lot of them off too. So. It's a never ending battle. This patch is probably one of the most problematic ones. As you can see, the, <laughs> the barrier to entry is not very big. And there's never anybody over here. This is where I need to put a radio. Probably should go get another one like I was saying. But this is where I have a major squirrel problem. Obviously, I need to get in here and trim some of these trees back, but it's pretty wet out here this morning from that storm. See how these uh, blue crop bushes are doing over here. I don't expect them to do too much because, like I said, the animals are a big problem over here on this side of property. see too many blue ones I don't really see too many at all so they're probably in here getting them this bush has got some on it green ones never-ending battle right Tomatoes are looking good. Did have potatoes uh, in these tires last year. So I was seeing, yeah, see we got some here. This ugly gross guy. That's a potato bug. They're on the tomato plants because uh, there are larvas in the ground over here. Another one here. I was shooting them with the bug assault, but these first three plants here had some on them yesterday. You can see where they ate the leaves. But I don't see no eggs. They'll plant their eggs on the bottom of the leaves. It'll be like little, little orange eggs. Oh, there's another one. Look how gross he is. Look at you, you ugly little. Ugh. Die! You see any other ones on there? I don't. I'll come check them later. Gotta stay on top of them, plus pull some weeds while we're out here, right? These guys. I want to go put the trellis up on the cucumbers, so I guess I'm going to go do that. I don't see any more. I'm sure they'll be coming out of the ground. Other than that, they look good. Maybe we'll get some big old best boys to try to sell. Right. If not, we'll be definitely having some stewed stewed tomatoes to can. <laughs> They're good in the winter time. What is this weed? Every time I come in here, there's a different weed growing. Definitely want to get rid of these marigolds or whatever the heck they are. These things. The climbing vine thingies. All right, let's go put the trails up. Oh, don't trip.
came over here to do some squirrel hunting. Keep an eye out. I backed right into my spot over here and look who it is. It's Wilbur. What's up, Wilbur? Good thing I didn't run you over, I almost squidged you. I better get these ones today before they fall off. Uh, they got the ants on them. <laughs> wow, look at that one. Get out of the sun, maybe. <laughs> They're ready to come off. Get one bird jumping on this thing and they'll all be on the ground. Yeah, they probably weren't going to make it till tomorrow. You see how much it was dro drooping down from the weight? Bird one. So is this one. And a little mummy. But we'll get them off of here before they get them. Trying to wait till tomorrow. We got the army coming, hopefully. Hopefully they all show up run through these fields real quick one-handed scrapper one-handed picker Well, I got ran out of the field again. At least we're getting water this year, though, so can't complain. Sold a flat. Went and picked another two cans. Somebody came in and bought, like, eight pints. So, at least they're going. This is all I got for the rest of the day, but... I guess we'll go to the store since it's raining and do something. Tomorrow's the big day. See how many we can get for the flea market on Thursday. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, share, leave a comment. Probably take a bunch of these blackberry plants with me Thursday, too. See if I can offset any more of them off. There's the weeds. You get the weeds, you get the grass for free. <laughs> They got the tweels on that rental Toro. Thing doesn't look like it's moved in a while. Look at all the dirt around the wheels. Batteries from February 2021. The thing's like brand new. I wonder if that is a rental or they just, I don't think it's for sale. Huh. Yeah, it is a rental. It's got a rental sticker on it. I like them tweels though. Definitely would like to get a set of them one day. They're expensive though. I think they're like a thousand bucks. Definitely productivity goes up when you don't get a flat, that's for sure. Look at all these D thatchers they got. Sheesh. <laughs> what is that thing? Uh, something. Compactor. Let's go get a radio. They got this HP stuff now. I guess it's all just brushless. This thing's kind of cool. Definitely small. I like this 3 8 3 8 impact too is kind of cool. How much is that? 119? How many foot pounds? Doesn't even say. Four mode control. Where it be? There it is. 160 foot pounds. Hmm. What is this guy? I see this one's three. I already got one's 300. All right. Well, can't get a free radio, so maybe we'll get another 
twin pack and a small battery seems like the best value they got bluetooth speakers over here but i need a radio radio so yeah, they still got fans yeah they got these bluetooth speakers but that's not I don't need that kind. I do like this little Dremel too. And the glue gun. That's pretty cool. But I think the best bet is to get two batteries and a single. Because these are 70 bucks. So that's like the best value. I don't need anything else really. Any of the free tools. So I guess we'll do that again. We'll get eeny, meeny, miny, mo. This one. And, and we want the one in the back. I don't know why, but that's what we like. It's coming down now. I'm digging this Tundra. The bronze wheels. That thing is sick. <laughs> it's a nice truck right there. Alright, we got it. Adding to the horde. Forty-four bucks for the radio. Let's see a Ryobi Days free tool promo, ninety-nine dollars, and then you get the the battery seventy, the two amp hour. So that's like your best bang for your buck. That's pretty much like the one of the highest tools on there. Not bad. Another year, same old story. Yep. Jeez. That's the only one I see out here. These things are loaded. These are Kovals. Look at these things. <laughs> they look good. These are a pretty tart berry. I like, I usually mix them in with something that's a little sweeter because you get a whole pint of these bad boys, man. It's some Sour Patch Kids. But they're still good. I, I, like, I like sour ones. Some people do, but... This is actually the first variety that was high bushed from a wild variety. The Koval. I don't know if I ever did that video. I had a book that about the Pine Barrens that uh, there was a good story in there about this variety of blueberry. I don't know if I ever did do that video. Maybe I did. I don't remember. <laughs> That one's going to be good. That's like a picture right there, right? A couple of them are ripe. They're a big, beautiful berry, though. If you let them get ripe, they're not that, they're not that bad. We might actually have to run through here tomorrow. Definitely. There's a few in here. We might as well get them. All right. Mm. Nothing better than fresh off the bush.